So I, I do have a few things about uh, World War One. This was one of the biggest wars in human history. A uh, hundred years ago, uh, right now from 1914 up through, uh, through 1918. And the war doesn't really start for a big important reason. Um, it wasn't some massive uh, like religious war or something. There was just Germany and Austro-Hungary wanted to expand. Um, France, Britain, and Russia wanted to contain them. Uh, so this huge war breaks out for uh, numerous reasons after the Archduke Franz Ferdinand is assassinated. It's the spark that starts this massive war in which millions and millions of people uh, will fall. And this war turns into very quickly trench warfare. There have been wars in Europe for generations. They're usually relatively quick, relatively bloodless. But here in this war, because of the, the latest weapon technology, the defensive has a huge advantage. Uh, so they're in trenches, they're in bunkers like this. And with the machine guns they're able, and their artillery, they're able to just take down anyone uh, coming against them. So it turns into the Western Front, where you have trenches from Switzerland all the way up uh, to the English Channel. And there's fighting there for, for years. Uh, both sides are looking for ways to break through, uh, through this Western Front. Just thousands and thousands of people would die in attacks where they'd go over the top, as it was called, uh, charging. It wasn't this sheer stupidity on the general's part, but both sides were trying to invent new ways, to, new tactics of overcoming these trenches. At the same time, uh, the defenders were building their trenches deeper and, and better. Uh, but this does result in a lot of really, truly tragic stories. Uh, on the first day of the Psalm, uh, July 1st, 1916, um, that's, that's th where this battlefield was in northern France. You used to have many, many uh, stories of unsuccessful attacks. In this particular section of this part where we visited was where the 1st Newfoundland Regiment attacked uh, from Canada. There were 760 strong when they went into battle. 650 of those uh, fell as casualties. Uh, you, can, I, you can probably just vaguely see uh, the line about halfway across that field. That's where, where the charge started from. <laughs> but uh, World War I on the Western Front is probably one of the worst places, there's a lot of moments there, there's some of the worst places to be in in all of history. Uh, you just have a lot of terrible stories where you're in these trenches, you're being constantly shelled by all these bombs uh, from the other side, firing from their cannons. The battlefields are just, just really terrible places. Uh, you have all these bodies, these people that have fallen dead, you're unable to remove them, so you have these rotting, rotting corpses everywhere, you have limbs sticking out of the trenches, just very, uh, very terrible stuff. They're also using poison gas in this war, uh, where they'll launch this gas that when you breathe it in, you start to choke, to gag, or, or it, uh, they also have types that damage your skin. So you have to wear a gas mask, you're always worry, worried about uh, being attacked, always on the alert. Another, another place was Ypres in Belgium, just across the border from France. That battlefield, uh, the, there was a lot of mud, as all these shells fired, you ended up with this massive morass. Uh, people would actually just fall into this mud and drown. Uh, just because this mud was so deep. I mean, it really just looks otherworldly, like the surface of the moon when you look at all these pictures of uh, all this uh, land with no vegetation, all these shell craters everywhere. And so when World War II was finally won by the Allies, uh, it really changed a lot of people's view of war. Um, a lot of the glory of war was gone. It wasn't one quick victory where you could win the day and go home. It was just years upon years of fighting. Though that wasn't necessarily true for all the soldiers, I mean, a lot of troops didn't have that bad of an experience. Uh, but, you know, whatever problems we face, it's probably not as bad in most ways as uh, being on the Western Front and, you know, charging against one of those, one of those positions. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it with your friends. You can also visit www.discerninghistory.com for more videos and other resources.